Hello everyone, welcome to this video. After understanding about the projection operators, now the next question arises that are these projection operators, they are, are they also positive operators? The answer to this question is yes, they are positive operators. And in fact, all these projection operators, they are always the positive operators. So we have a theorem which exactly tells us about this thing. So this is the result here. It tells us that whenever we have the projection operator defined on to some of the given Hilbert space H, in that case, this projection operator that is a positive operator, first result, second result, that the inner product of Px with x that is equal to the norm square of Px. The third result, this norm of p is less than equal to less than one, strictly less than one, and it is equal to one whenever this p of h, the space, uh, the projection uh, space, the, whenever we apply this projection operator onto the given Hilbert space, then that range would not exactly be equal to the zero operator, right? Zero element, right? So we wanted to prove all these things here. So first of all, let's consider the inner product of Px with x. So now because you know what is this P of x, what is this P? That is a projection operator. So that means it is obviously an idempotent operator, right? So you could write this P as equal to P square. So you have the inner product of P square x with x. So now also because it is a projection, it is a self-adjoint operator. So that means you have P cross is equal to P or you could shift this one of this P to this side without any change. So that would be the inner product of Px with Px. And you know, when you take the inner product of the same element with itself, the, so that is equal to the norm square. So you have the norm square of Px here. And because you know norm is always a positive quantity, so this thing is a positive quantity. So from here, you have obtained that the inner product of Px with x that is equal to the norm of Px square. And moreover, this P is a positive operator. Why? Because this inner product here is a positive quantity. So from here, we have proved these two results. The first two results have been proved here, right? Next, we wanted to talk about the norm of this projection operator P. So if we take this thing, the norm of Px square, so it would be equal to the, from this result here, the norm of Px square is, it is equal to the inner product of Px with x, right? And now we could apply the squash inequality here. According to this inequality, we have this inner product less than equal to the norm of Px, the first member, multiplied with the norm of the second member here. So that means you have the inner, uh, the norm square of Px less than equal to the norm of Px, multiplied with the norm of x here, right? So here, because if you take x to be a non-zero member here, then only you could perform this thing. Then only p of x is non-zero and then only you could cancel out its effect from both the sides. So then only you are left with the norm of px divided by the norm of x less than equal to one, whenever you have x as a non-zero member, right? So that means whenever you take its supremum, right? So that supremum is also less than equal to one and it is exactly equal to one whenever x is not equal to zero. So this proves the result for this particular theorem. So I hope you understood this theorem and result well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.